Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for June 27th, 28th, 29th, and the 30th. That is Monday through Thursday. Now, if you've watched me before, you know this is going to be the introduction for all of the videos, but I will post a, a timestamp so you can bypass this introduction. Now, I will be using my Radley Valentine decks for this reading. I will use my Archangel Power Tarot cards, main reading. I'll pull one from my Guardian Angel cards. I will also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, for the overview though, I will be using my Weight Rider Traditional Tarot and my Colleen Barrett Reed The Good Tarot. I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Just remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. So we have that really big, you know, I am posting this on Friday, and we have that grand alignment going on. And, I mean, you, it's not just five planets. I mean, it is all the planets have some sort of an alignment going on. Uh, Pluto may not necessarily be quite where it needs to be, but it's within a really good um, distance. It's also, when you see the moon up there, think, you know, think that's in a way, you know, we're not going to be able to see the earth, but the earth is part of this alignment also. Now, the you know, so there's a lot of different weird things going on with this alignment. All the planets have some sort of connection. You may not be able to see them. Maybe you might need a telescope or um, binoculars, and even then you may not be able to see them all too. So we still have that going on. Um, again, this Friday, today was the biggest part of it. It will still be going on Saturday. And then it starts to slowly move. They start to slowly move away from each other. Um, I did talk to you the last time about, you know, that song Aquarius. That has been running through my mind again. And the other thing we also, you know, since this started, you know, as these all these planets were moving into this major alignment that's called the Great or Grand Planetary Alignment, um, you know, this also started, what was it, back in, was it April, May? So in May, there was a waxing moon in Leo. In June, a waxing moon in Leo. And there will be another waxing moon. I said it was on the 1st and 2nd of July. So there's some interesting energies going on. You know, I do follow the, um, you know, I do follow a few, not necessarily astrologers per se, but um, people that, you know, talk about what these, are, what's going on. And I have to tend to agree that we just don't really know what this is all about because it hasn't or it doesn't happen for us, you know, too often. Now, the um, interesting thing about this, excuse me, somebody's, uh, oh, stop that, stop that. So the interesting thing about this is that as this goes on and we do have that new moon or the waxing moon in Leo on that first and second, um, I talked about Pluto, which has been in Capricorn, and Pluto started that, um, you know, that um, in February 2022. It was in the um, birth chart of the United States back in, you know, July 4th, 1776. So, you know, it that was the same type of station it was in at that time. So that has a lot of uh, revolutionary days type of energy going on. This July 4th, it will be, it'll be almost where it was back in February, but it's going to be a little one, like one little degree off. So, you know, who's to say what's happening? Pluto is the planet of destruction, but then it is also the planet of rebirth. And we, he, Pluto has been in there in uh, Capricorn since 2008. Things will be shifting in 2023, but and then definitely shifting in 2024. So I feel like this could be more of that, you know, maybe the Tower card. Things have to come down in order for things to be built up again. Because, you know, Phoenix, the ashes of the Phoenix, the Phoenix rises from the ashes. So just put it net out there. Um, another weird little thing that came to me that I have to share is, you know, that... I, I tend to feel that the, um, you know, the planets, you know, I, I, I've said this a couple of times, it's almost like they're getting together for a conference. And you can almost feel like, you can almost feel the energies just watching us. And it, it came to me how Earth is the only planet not named 
after a Greco or Greco, great Greco, um, Roman god. So it just, you know, it's just an interesting, like, why, why weren't we? Why weren't we with that? So it's kind of like, a, you know, interesting energies going on. The watchers are watching. What are we going to be doing? Who? We're not even sure. But let's see if the cards will tell us anything from higher power. One card has fallen. You know, when they fall, we need to see what they're about. And uh, did I tell you I am a, um, I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power and whatever it is, higher power, I just say, just let it come through. Um, so clear cognition is, I guess, the other word for that too. Another card has fallen and let's go ahead and cut and see where we're at, what we're doing here. Okay. Remember to always remember whatever is going on the, in the world, in the universe, we still have to live our lives and we are of the light. So we need to stay shining. We need to burn bright. Okay. Ne even though um, sometimes it doesn't seem that easy. Okay. Let's see what we have here. First card, the Hierophant. Okay. The Hierophant's an interesting card. And if you follow me, you know that I'm not necessarily a fan of the higher hierophant this is a five five you know so there is a five here five has um change energy positive negative energy it could be either one but it's a little bit on the stressful side the hierophant is the business of religion the business of government this has a very strong pisces energy here too you know i mean because that's really we are we have been in the age of pisces where it has been about rules and regulations and you know, do as I say, you know, this is the way it needs to be about doctrines, um, you know, and just, and, and it is, doesn't necessarily mean from religion, and I'm not talking spirituality, I'm not talking about connection with higher power, God, spirit, Holy Spirit, you know, Holy Spirit, I'm not talking that, I'm talking about the rules assigned by government and by um, religion. So the Hierophant has that very strong structure, that very, you know, this is the way to do it. You don't even have to think. You just know, follow the rules. Okay, you know, maybe life won't be easy, but I follow the rules. I'm not going to get in trouble. Um, but, you know, the Hierophant energy comes and, and, you know, and it's kind of a little bit of a, of like, well, you know what? Okay, you, you be you, you do you. Um, I think we're going to try something different here. So the Hierophant is kind of that energy. It's like, do we follow the rules? Do we follow the regulations? Um, do we do as they're, as we're being told? Or do we possibly do something a little bit different? I do not, you know, I'm saying, you know, it's all in love. It's all in peace. It's all in the light. Um, you know, the Hierophant sometimes, you know, like I said, it kind of, it, it's, it's very structured and there's very strict boundaries to this. So we could be seeing that this coming week. Let's see what the next card is. But then we come to the world. The world is a breakout, uh, is a breakthrough energy. This is a 21. So we have 210. So 1010 is transition. But we also have that two energy. Two is choices. It's decisions. It's which way are we going to go. It's coupling together. And then we have the one. One is a new beginning. Two plus one, three. Very powerful number. Celebration and also creativity. The world is things are done. The job is completed. Whatever needed to be done is done. So what, is, what does that have to do with religion? What does it have to do with the government? Um, you know, it, these are both major arcanas. These are both universal energies. But whatever it is, it's done. Now what we have to do is either we rest we, you know, we, we just kind of think back. We um, contemplate a little bit. The other thing, though, with the world card is that we take our lessons that have been learned and now we share them. We share them with others. So, but, but a lot of times between that, there is that resting period and then we get ready to move on again. But there is a sense of completion with the world. There is a sense of um, you've, done, you've gone through a lot of the trials Again, you know, these two being connected, you know, that's going to be interesting. Let's see what this card has. Then we come to this reverse card. This is a, um, you know, like I said, reverse, well, I have said, reverse cards have a little stronger energy. This is a minor arcana, but this is the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups, three again, I talked about that. There's the power of three, saying something three times, doing something three times. 
and you know it, it you know having two other people with you as you all come into agreement it's also like i said celebration it's also creativity cups is our water energy it's cancer pisces scorpio fluid emotional very spiritual energy too we are in cancer right now we do have our cancer full our cancer new moon on the 28th and that will be at 10:52 uh, um, 10.52 p.m. It does bring a new uh, season for us. So there could be a very, you know, there that things are moving. There, you know, there these, these two are the ones to watch, but this is the one how we're dealing with it on the earth. And again, the new moon is on that 28th, 10.52. Now we also have early in the day, earlier in the day on the 28th, we have Neptune going retro in Pisces. It's not strongly there yet, but it is. So that, you know, Pisces again, Pisces season transitioning into Aquarius, but it's not like a light switch that just, you know, flips on. You know, it has it's more of a dimmer switch and sometimes we make it a little lighter, sometimes we make it a little darker. Neptune is about secrets, dreams, um Pisces is also. So you know, Pisces is, like I said, Pisces is about, um, we've been 2,000 years in the age of Pisces, which has been about religion and um, government. So, you know, so we've got something going on with that one, too. Who's to say? We will see. But this is about celebration. This is lifting your cup. This is enjoying whatever this is. Um, this, And again, there is a lot of movement with this energy here. So now... You know, let's see. Let me know what you're thinking about this. Let me know what you're thinking about this. And, you know, the Hierophant, I'm a little, you know, I'm a Leo, so it's kind of like I'm a little bit rebellious against this. Cusp of Cancer, Moon in Pisces, um, and then my Venus is in Gemini. So, you know, and oh, we're going into, Venus is turning into Gemini. So I've got a little bit of it all. I do have some Earth signs and Earth energy there. I think something's in Virgo. Can't remember. Anyway, let's see what we have. Higher power, what can you, what can, oh, we've got a couple of cards that have fallen on the floor. And like I said, when they pop, we have to read them. Okay, let's see. Okay, good, come on, come on. Okay, so now, and they fell like this. So now we have justice. This is Major Arcana again. And this is Justice card. Justice, you know, this could be, this could relate back to the Hierophant, could relate back to the world. We have a 1-1, one, one, you know, new beginning, new beginning, 10 transition, 1 plus 1, 2. We've talked about what that is, decisions, choices. Justice, justice could be very um, in the, in the um, natural. It could also be in the supernatural. It could be karma being um, fulfilled, karma being met. It could also be justice coming to this world. So let's see what the next one is. Oh, okay. Now we have, and this is good. I love this one. This is the 10 of Earth. 10 again, transitional energy. So we've got some ones going on with that. Um, Earth, Pentacles, um, Virgo, Capricorn. Remember, Pluto's in Capricorn. And I do feel like we're coming to that part where Pluto now has to do some rebuilding in Capricorn. Or Capricorn's kind of saying, enough is enough. We have to do it. But it's not necessarily going to be quick. It's not necessarily going to be easy. But the 10 of Earth actually is a very positive energy. It's a very, po you know, it's a very uh, stable energy too. So, and our last one is, again, we have that Three of Cups the three of water. So there's confirmation. So whatever's going on, even if we're feeling, even if we don't necessarily see the outcome, it does feel, especially in the um, spiritual and the supernatural world, it does feel like there is positive energies moving, positive things happening, celebra celebratory energy. You know, I'm always surprised. I'm, I'm always thinking that I'm going to come in and like, oh my goodness, Henny Penny, the sky is falling. And then the cards say that things are moving. Things are moving the way the divine wants them to do, the way higher power God is, you know, things are working out the way they're supposed to be working out. But again, we get the three of water, we get the three of cups, which is the same energy, and it's all about celebration. Okay, always interesting. Anyway, let me know what you think. Also, to, you know, like, 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 Please like, because that moves the um, 
algorithm thingy or something it gets the video seen more so thank you but also you know besides liking share subscribe click on the bell for notifications do all the things you need to do comment let me know what you think about this one because um there, there there's a lot of hidden layers with this and um i still go back you know the thing is though the three of cups and the three of water see these are universal energies these become what's going on more around us. So, um, you know, I would say with the Ten of Earth and I would say with the celebration, even if things don't make sense, don't let fear guide you. Don't let fear rule you. Remember fear, tool of the devil. So don't let that happen. And, you know, I do feel like even, even if you feel like things are not necessarily going the way you want, laugh. Laugh in the face of the devil. Laugh in the face of the evil energies. Okay, that rise that brings our vibration to a higher level. Okay, so anyway, I will start our videos now, and like I said, there will be a link where you can just bypass all of this. Thank you. Hello to my Capricorns, and how are you, my darlings? Uh, I just feel you're just you're just ready. You're just ready. Let like let me at them. Let me at them. You know, I kind of get the um, you know, just just get that. Let me go. Let me do this. Kind of want to throw all the, you know, throw all of the chains and things that are binding you. That just kind of just going positive. Okay. Oops. And that car. Oh, it fell on that side for a change. Things don't fall on that side, but normally they always fall over there. Let's see. Higher power. What do we have for our Capricorns? I just feel that they're they're just so ready to leap. They're just so ready to move. Kind of, you know, just ready to just do what they need to do. Okay, so we have a couple of cards here. Oh, okay, we have we have two cards. These popped out, so we will read them. But let's see what this one is. This one flew over there. Let's see. First card is the Queen of Michael. Okay. So even though you are ready to make some changes, you really need to make sure that you stay grounded and you keep yourself very logical. Okay. So because we have the Queen of of, of uh, Ariel here and the Queen of Pentacles. I'm going to reverse this one back here. So you have these two queens. Now, the queens, they both bring different um, energies here. Underlying energy for queens is water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So this is fluid, emotional. So you might be dealing with something, a matter, something that you really feel deeply about. Okay, you, it just, it's just something that you, a, a cause, a commitment, something that you just, just, it just consumes you in many, many ways. It's a, it could be. You know, it, you know, something like it could be your family, it could be your job, it could be personal relationships, it could be something that just not even, you know, not, I'm not even mentioning, it's something that you feel very, very strongly about. Now, the Queen of Michael, Michael is that air energy. It is our Aquarius, remember, Saturn's in Aquarius, um, Gemini, Mercury is in Gemini, and Venus is going into Gemini too. Not quite sure, just not quite yet, I don't think yet. Or no, Venus might be in Gemini right now. Um, and it is Libra. So all of this has, you know, um, you know, very, st it does have strong, but the air energy itself is trying to tell you to think things through, strategize, make a plan. You don't just want to rush in because that's where your perspective is. You don't want to just rush in and not necessarily have your plan, not necessarily have your thought processes going on. The Queen of Ariel, Ariel is our, um, your, your energy, it is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It is very grounded energy, tangible energy. It is money, job, career. It is home energy, but it's very grounded. So it's kind of like you have this emotional energy going on, but you need to also be very objective. You need to be very um, careful with your thoughts, with your words, and you also need to be very grounded because otherwise it, it feels like you could lose, your, lose control, and when you lose control, you lose the valid validity of your argument of what it is you're talking about and that's where your perspective comes in this is you know you, you can't just rush in you just can't you know just make these changes you there is a little bit of um, you know give and take there is a little bit of talking through it but in order for you to um, I kind of get this thing for in order for you to succeed in order for you to um, come out as possibly I don't know the winner um, come out as somebody getting what you want to get. 
you need to really stay focused and try to keep that emotional side. I'm not saying that you should be cold and distant because the Queen of Ariel is not cold and distant. Queen of Michael, eh, a little bit more so. You need, you know, but you cannot let the emotional side rule. Okay, so you have to keep a really strong balance between the three of those energies. Okay, so and the water energy is a little bit stronger, especially since we have that new moon on the what did I say, the 28th in the evening, um, or in Eastern time, 10:52 Eastern time, p.m. Um, you need to kind of keep that really well balanced. Okay, so whatever it is. But the queens are saying, though, that you succeed. The queens are saying, though, that you stand in your, uh, you know, you stand in your own, a little bit in your own arrogance. You do stand in your own integrity. The queens are winning energies. Okay, so let me know who and what this is about, my cappies. But the Queen of Michael is brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, humorous. So keep your sense of humor around this too. You know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than relationships. So this could be work energy, especially since the air, since Ariel is that work energy too. So the, so again, stay objective, kind of, you know, there it's something you want. I'm not telling you to look like a, like you don't care about it. You do need to have some empathy. You do need to be, you know, you do need to show some Oh, yeah, I understand, but type of energy here, too. So the Queen of Ariel, though, is mature, practical, generous, happy. Now, this is nice energy. I love the Queen of Ariel because the Queen of Ariel, she she wants to provide. She wants to provide, um, you, know, eat, you know, she wants to provide the nice things in life. So she does want to smooth things over a little bit, but she also wants to make sure she takes care of the people or the things that are very important to her. So that's a that's a good thing. Mature, practical, generous, happy. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. So the queens are going to be very strong for you this week. Again, the water energy that underlies it, is, it does have that emotional energy, but the Michael energy, the air energy, and the earth energy will keep you grounded and will keep you from becoming too emotional or being too, you know, because, you know, people will then say, oh, the Capricorns, they're so emotional. You know, I'm so tired of that. You know, just because you want to speak and be passionate about what you're speaking about. But now we come to perspective. This is the hanged man. There is a sense of, there's a little bit of a sense of submission with the hanged man. This is Major Arcana. And it's it's letting higher power, God, source, whoever, take over through this. It's kind of like that, okay, what will be, will be. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to capitulate, because the queens are a little bit stronger energy than that. But it's kind of like, I will let you lead, but a little bit of that, too. Okay, so this is a 12, 12, 1, new beginning, 10, transition, 2, choices. 1 plus 2 three, is a 3, power of 3. Okay, celebratory and also creative. But this is also Archangel Shamuel. Now, this says that there is a better way. So it's kind of looking at things, looking at things, stepping back. Whereas before my Capricorns, you may have wanted to rush in. You need to go slow. You need to go slow. You need to be more in control of whatever the situation is. You need to, again, I kind of feel like you need to go slow and just watch and just watch and wait. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. Because whatever this is, they, you know, whatever it is, they're going to expect you to be emotional. And the thing is, that's not to say that you're not to be caring and, you know, not to say that you're not to be involved. That, yeah, this, whatever this is happening, you, you care deeply, but you need to um, be, you have to be different. You have to, you know, do, what is it, um, what they don't expect, Okay. So let's see, Guardian Angels, can you tell us anything more about this? Yeah, those queens are standing in their power, though. So stand in your power, too, my Capricorns. Okay, let's see what we have here. And remember, it's, you know, the hanged man hanging upside down by one foot, and yet at peace, at peace. So it's kind of like whatever you're entering be confident, be at peace. Okay, anyway, here we go. 
And again, dare to be different. I, I feel very strongly for that. You know, don't do what they expect. How's that? Who are they? I don't know. Okay. Organization. This would, I could see how this can fit here too. So organization, this is a four. Four is um, organization, leadership. It's also uh, stability. This is the emperor energy. So there is a lot. Your plans are on target and everything will flow more smoothly if you add a little organization and discipline to your methods. This kind of wraps this whole thing up. The key to success is to allow your creativity to be gently guided by logic. Be open to asking for help from someone very intellectual or seek out a mentor. So I could see how that's all about that. So it's basically care, you, you know, you want this, you care about this, that whatever this is that's changing around you, what you're feeling around you. Again, you know, the, or, you know, basically you want, you want it to be, you know, you want to make sure it's disciplined, but the key is to be gently guided by logic. So don't, don't, um, you know, even when people are pressing your buttons and they're trying to, you know, they're trying to make you, you know, lose control, take a breath, you know, get 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 a handle, look and see, ooh, what's going on here? Dare to be different. Dare to be different than what they expect. How's that? Anyway, let's see what Capricorn, what crystal or energy for my Cappies we have here that would be helpful. I like that, the dare to be different. Okay, Sapphire, channeled wisdom. I could see that because, you know, channeling higher power and asking for wisdom through the, through whatever. Psychic ability. Self-expression, destiny. Interesting stuff, especially because, you know, you want to be able to express yourself. But again, you want to make sure that you're gently, gently guided by logic. I like that, too. Anyway, like Capricorns, it looks like you've got this. You know, the queens are very strong, very powerful. Just let your, you know, let that step up, okay? You know, you are royalty. Anyway, my Cappies like like do that like stuff because that helps to move that algorithm thing but besides liking please share subscribe click on that bell for notifications most importantly yes you know this always know that you are loved stay shining and be blessed bye bye